Before we actually see any scheme code, let's take a few minutes to get familiar with Dr. Racket and how it works and what we're going to be actually using Dr. Racket for. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to launch Dr. Racket. And we've already set up our default language to be scheme. If you haven't done that already, you can do that under the choose language and then show details and then select this option. Always use the same lang line here and just put hash link scheme there. That'll bring up scheme by default. And you'll notice that the window is split in two. At the top, you have this place where you can add code. In the bottom, you have what's called the REPL. REPL stands for Read, Evaluate, Print Loop. And that's going to allow us to interactively enter scheme code or test our existing code. And so we'll see how to use that here. So the REPL is on the bottom. You can type in any scheme form here. So something simple like plus three, seven, and then you get the result, which is 10. And you can ignore this. We'll see where that comes from in a moment. And if I do something like define x to be 10, then x will now evaluate to 10. In the REPL, everything I do here stays in memory. Now on the top, I can also add the same code that I wrote below. And let's also define a to be 4. And now if I come down here and say a, it's not defined because I haven't loaded the code in this top screen. So I'm going to click on the run button and you'll notice this gets evaluated. It evaluates everything there. Here there's no output because there's nothing to evaluate. I'm just associating these names with these values. So now if I type X A or I can even do plus X A. Now suppose I want to keep this code. I can save it. So I'll select file, save definitions, and then I'll navigate to wherever I want to save my file and maybe I want to save it in a new folder. So I'll navigate to that folder and then I want to make sure that I save as type any and then give it a file name with an SCM extension, which stands for scheme. So now you can see that that's saved. Now if I close Dr. Racket and then navigate to that folder. So here's my practice folder and there's the example scheme file. I can double click on that and that'll automatically load Dr. Racket with the contents of that file. Now notice there's no REPL, but if I click run, it'll evaluate whatever this code is, and then that'll be available to me in the REPL. Now, if I have a typo, notice here B is undefined. Oop, I meant to say X. So if I come to this line and go to the end and press enter, it'll copy the line to the current line, and then I can make whatever change I'd like to do. And you can see that that works. So if you're not following along with this 100% just yet, as we use Dr. Racket and, and write more scheme code, this will make sense, but I wanted to give you this first introduction at least to explain what everything is.